Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Tech Guide with me, the Stonelighter. Today, would you add and Eve it, we're going to be looking at Windows 10. As you may have heard, uh, Microsoft did a big reveal on January 21st showing the features and general benefits of Windows 10. Announcing that it's going to be a free upgrade for the first year for um, anybody with Windows 7, 8 or 8.1 bargain. Now, this is the technical preview that I've downloaded and installed. What I will add is I was planning on installing this on my uh, tablet. However, I couldn't get it to go. So this is it running on my son's laptop, but I'm sure he won't mind. There you go. This is a Dell um, i3 laptop. And yep, yeah, as you can see, it's all running um, Windows 10 preview edition, of course. So let's see if we can find some of these amazing um, features in here. Now, first of all, I will tell you, I like Windows 8. Yep, I've said it. That's a good start. <laughs> Sorry, Cortana isn't available in your region. Um, is that because I don't speak like an American? I'm confused. Hmm. There you go, YouTubers. Could be a first this. This Windows 10 comes with DirectX 12. Have a look. Yeah, I mean, in all honesty, the install went real straightforward. Um, downloaded the preview edition, used the Windows 7 USB uh, creating program. And yeah, all went through like a breeze. So, what else have we got here? Well, I'll be honest with you. We're missing quite a bit at the moment. Cortana, she's gone. God bless her. And um, I've had a look and I can't see Spartan. Now, I know this sounds like um, it's not Windows 10, it's Halo, but Spartan is apparently an add-on sort of a browser thing. Um, oh, as you can see, this is another lovely Internet Explorer that we're looking at. God bless her. Not my particular favourite, but hey. Seems nippy enough. Look at YouTube. See if you can find me. Don't forget, world-renowned famous, the Freestone Lighter. Don't know why it's got me on fire, but I guess I'm just hot stuff. So, yeah, as I was saying, I like Windows 8.1. Um, I'll be honest with you, I didn't like it up until getting a tab, so I've only liked it for a month. <laughs> but after using a tablet PC, um, yeah, I completely get what it's on about. Uh, I love how you can do your snaps, uh, you slide in, you slide out, closing, opening programs. It's so easy. And I've adapted that to mouse click gestures and controls on the PC. So now looking at this so far, um, it looks a bit like a mishmash of Windows 8 and um, Windows 7. Hello and welcome to Let's see if this one works. Another little um, beta. So, yeah, we're looking at the uh, shop here in beta mode. Let's have a look. See if we can find some, yeah, freeze we'll go for. Well, yeah, I mean, that seems like pretty much all the stuff that's available in the normal store. Could be wrong. It has been known to happen. I know you shot YouTubers, but it's the truth. So let's get that installing. This interface on the um, store does seem a lot more user friendly. Uh, order and chaos, that's what we need to uh, get on here. Uh, my son will be going mental at me if um, he doesn't have that. 
There we go. I think he's only got it so he can get more achievements on the um, his account, but I could be wrong. Yeah, again, uh, the interface is clearer than the one in Windows for the store. I mean, don't forget, guys, this is obviously a pre-release, tech demo only. Uh, don't get your hopes up features that are in here, which I haven't found so many of them on. Um, may not be in when you get your full version and uh, vice versa. You may actually have Cortana being able to understand us Mancunians or us English people. Uh, who knows? So, yeah, this is your new uh, start menu, which is, again, mishmash. It's 8.1 with Windows 7. Hmm. I'm not too sure about this as yet, and I wonder how this will work in the tablet version, which apparently is coming out in February. Uh, so I will be doing a little preview of that as well. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, you've got all that stuff there that you've got normally, but it just doesn't seem the same somehow. I did like, I really, honestly, I really did like the Windows 8.1. And now I'm dragging down for a week and a half just to find different applications. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry about that, YouTubers. No, nope, definitely no Crow Turner, whatever she's called. No Spartan. Um, I've not linked it up to Xbox yet, although I don't own an Xbox One any longer. I uh, jumped the gun and um, switched to PlayStation 4. Well, I mean, that's on my home network, so you can see me Plex server all there. Just found it all straight away. No difficulties with that. Yeah, uh, right clicking on the um, start brings up the same features as 8.1. So, yeah, programs, features, power options, blah, 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 blah. I like the groovy folder design, but you know, you could do that with a skin. I'm not slating this, people, don't get me wrong. I'm not slating Windows 10 yet. Yet. So, let's put a USB stick in. I'll sort it. Copies and documents and stuff. So we don't get too upset when he comes back. Put it to in his grandma, so I'll cheer him up. Come back and he's got a Windows 10 laptop. Ah. Oh. It'll be in despair if it's rubbish and kill me. On a brighter note, it's faster than Windows Vita at copying device uh, copying files. I don't know if you remember the Windows Vita fiasco where you um, spent about four weeks copying sort of a couple of hundred meg. A look at the task manager. Now that, to me, looks like the one from um, 8.1 wig thing. Oh, yeah, it's not got a terribly large amount of processes running, which um, I like. Obviously, the more processes running in the background, um, the slower your computer's end, going to end up being. Yeah. Have a look. Oh. Hey. Windows 8.1. I was lying all along. You thought it was Windows 10. Oh, it is. No, it's not. Right, I'm going to shut up and introduce you to um, 
the lovely videos that come with it. Oh, I might do. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to play this video and um, get back to you in a minute, peeps. Welcome to Windows 10 Technical Preview. Here are some tips to get you started. The Start menu has quick links to step on your PC, like the Power button, apps you use the most, and a customizable area where you can pin your favorite things. You can also make Start full screen, or the smaller menu size. It's up to you. The Tech Preview comes with apps like Photos, Music, and Xbox. To get more, head over to the Windows Store to find your favorites, or browse for new ones. Having a lot of apps open can clutter up your screen. To clean things up, drag one to the side. Choose another, and it'll automatically snap into place. To see everything, your open apps and your desktops, hit the Task View button. Here you can add desktops to group apps together. For example, keep the apps you need for home on one desktop and the apps you use at work on another. When you need to find something specific, search is right here on the taskbar. You'll get results from the web, your PC, and OneDrive. If you don't see what you're looking for, search your stuff and narrow things down by category. And if you ever need a quick answer, just ask Cortana, your new personal assistant. She'll dig up the answer for you. Hey Cortana, how many teaspoons in a cup? 48 US teaspoons. Join the Windows Insider program and then visit the Insider Hub app to find missions, earn points, and get the latest tech preview news. And use the Feedback app to tell us what you love and what you don't. There's a lot more to come in Windows 10, and we want to know what you think so we can make it even better. Windows 10. Lovely jubbly. Right. So, order and chaos is installed. Let's have a little look at this. I like the way it's adjusted to the window nicely. Yeah, we'll allow it to annoy him. Now, don't worry about the stunning graphics on this. It runs like this on anything from uh, Intel Celeron to um, an i7. Not exactly graphically intensive, but I think it's designed for Windows Mobile more than anything. Log into my account. Freestone Nectar. Yep, remember me? Remember me? Remember me? Remember me? Forget me. Alright, it don't want to remember me. I'm not that rememberable. Or memorable. Depends how you look at it. You say tomato, I say tomato. Yeah, I like the quest. I'll give you 400 reviews and I'll give you another one. Right, don't worry peeps, I'm not going to be doing a review of uh, Order and Chaos. Well, I will be at some point. I'm going to be doing a comparison in one of my videos soon between Order and Chaos on um, Android and Windows. So I'll look forward to that in the future. What I'm going to be doing now is um, having a look at the way this closes and snaps. Because if I remember rightly, you can't snap this, but that was in Windows 8.1. But you can't even grab it. How do you grab it? Huh. 
Hello, Mary Window. Hello, Mary Window. So everything's in the window, is it? Yeah, that's in the window. <sighs> yeah, that's brilliant. So what about these applications? What? Um, Houston, I think we've got a problem. Yeah, these these applications are normally open in full screen. You can just drag them to one side so you can snap them. Uh, you can change the size of the snap. So, no, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Um, no, I'm only complaining about the weather. I mean, we've seen them. It's going to be cold tonight. I mean, obviously, I'm using this on a um, PC rather than a tablet, which is what I really wanted to have a look at it on. Yeah, terrible score that. I'm a Chelsea supporter, so I'm pretty gutted about that one. But at the end of the day, it means we can uh, concentrate more on the win the league. Oh. Well, I guess that didn't want to stay open. Don't forget, guys, this is um tech demo. This isn't like proper beta or anything like that. Yeah, don't know why that closed them randomly. How peculiar. So, do we drag this down to close it? Drag down, nope. Drag, no. Nope. So all the cool draggy features of Windows eight and eight point one do seem to have disappeared. So all the haters of Windows eight point one, congratulations, you succeeded. It's dead. I thought this was going to be a bit of a bastardized version of the two, but it. It isn't really. I mean, it's got a few menus that look similar to 8.1, but that's about it. Well, oh, like the smiley face in it in the Explorer. No, thank you. I really don't want to take one of your Microsoft surveys. Very kind of you to ask, though. Yeah. See if um, these workers would do on Windows 8.1. Yeah. Well, I mean, everything installs correctly. <laughs> sort of. I'm quite impressed with this so far. Except for it's not what I thought it would be. But, you know, you can't have everything. Does seem to be mullering my battery. This was a full battery. I mean, I've done an install on it, but it does seem to be mullering it. Okay, now, so um, yeah, that's my uh, quick preview and tech guide to Windows 10. Um, if you like the video, um, subscribe, give us a like, make a comment, whatever you want. Cheerio and goodbye.